Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I found Minho. He was hiding behind the garbage in at the Target. So I brought him back to the Walmart dumpster. <laughs> I almost got away. Yeah, but not, not fast enough, man. But I found some cool things, so don't worry. I, I found this like art kit that has like this big ass slash through it, so we can't use like half of it. And uh, I found these ripped clothes that I guess they don't want the homeless having. And then I found this uh, <laughs> like rotisserie chicken. It's half eaten. You always find that. Yeah. It's just a classic. Yeah, it's, it's a classic find. It's like you know how when you're playing a video game and you're trying to find like your like items in in like a cave. It's like when the like the common drops, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Minor health potion or something. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, it heals ten percent with a heals ten percent of your health with a ten percent chance of food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, worth the risk. It's yummy. You just gotta eat around the parts I'm already eaten. But anyway, <laughs> I uh, the wheel was spun and the wheel spun into. Bring us back into the Pokemon universe because we apparently have not been there enough in our lifetime. <laughs> First was Korez, and then was Cynthia, and now we actually have my favorite green-haired man. This was my first ever crush on a, on, a, on a video game character my entire life. And I don't know how to feel about that, and neither should you, alright? <laughs> this is... And I'm just thinking back on you reading uh, Kermit. Ex Elmo <laughs> with Peter, yeah. and I just thought, why can't we do like like a Pokemon X Pokemon or something? What, like Vaporeon X Umbreon or some shit? Yeah, and then it's not even like human dialogue, it's just noises, the whole Wattpad story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it! <laughs> Vaporeon! Vaporeon said in a, in a sweet tone, uh, Umbreon <laughs> said Umbreon. <laughs> <laughs> truly moving. Truly. Yeah. It's like oh, it's like one of those silent films where there's no dialogue and you can only feel the like the emotion through like like the way that their actions are and, and like the movements. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know how that a silent film would translate into a fan fiction, but uh, good good on him I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is literally called Pokemon NX Reader. Complete by Secure Unravel 1v7. I'm, I'm so fucking excited for this man. I wanted to read about this man for so long! <laughs> Seeking... Hello, yeah. <laughs> Seeking t to leave your hometown and protect a brother, you join and travel across the Unova region alongside your Samurai in Lucario. Hugh, your childhood best friend, seems concerned about you, but while you two are exploring the region, you feel like someone is watching you. It's not it's not your other friends, Bianca, Sharon, Alder, or even your brother. It turns out it's N, ex the ex leader of Team Plasma. I am so fucking excited. This is wait, the character okay, there's a character called Xer that is made up in the story that we gotta look out for. Oh yeah, that's some yeah, that is some fearsome battling going on of the Lucario and the Gallade. <laughs> it's beautiful. Also, we did go ahead and make our name. We're gonna move on from Bill because we're running out of Bill names. So our name is Joe Mama right now, and I think that's a beautiful name. You know. Yeah, we'll see how that yeah. fits then. It's an honest name. It's a very honest name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do I have my coin? Here I go. It's shiny, brand new, factory sealed coin, dated 2022. Bidding starts at 25 cents. <laughs> what is it? Just a penny or something? No, it's a quarter. <laughs> oh. It's always to get my money back if someone bids on it. <laughs> I wonder if like the oldest quarter in the world is like hundreds of dollars or something. What my mom told me is that uh, if you look at a quarter, you see like the little like the, I think like the, like the brown kind of line that's wrapped around there. And uh -huh. why not? If you find a quarter that doesn't have that, that actually means it's made out of real silver and it's worth a lot more. Ooh. Yeah. What year was that before they uh, changed to like I don't know. Well, what are quarters made of? 
I don't know what they're made out of now, but apparently they used to be made out of real silver until they changed it. But yeah, my mom worked at a bank, and some people would just go in there and take out, like, like rolls of quarters and sit there and look through them to see if any of them have, like, don't have the little brown line in it. Mm. Yeah. Crazy! So quarters are made out of copper nickel and nickel. So nickels are made out of nickel. Yeah. That's some crazy shit. You're gonna tell me next that pennies are made out of penny. <laughs> They are. <gasps> That's some uh, crazy shit. <laughs> Alright, do you want to be heads or tails for this experience going forward? Uh, for this experience going forward, uh, tails. Alright. It actually is tails. What does the back of this say? Vito, I, I can't read that, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't read that. <laughs> can't read like five words on a quarter how are you gonna read this fanfic well it's in it's in spanish mojer uh vote por la mujer cool got it <laughs> so smart nice you did it all right uh chapter one about oh that's the picture you were talking about yeah that's a cool picture it is a cool picture from someone on DeviantArt. Good, good for them. The battle with brother. Uh, Go Mama opened the gate to the garden. Not surprised to see her brother training with his gut. Galade? Galade? Galade. Galade. Ever since her brother Zier became a gym leader, he has been super motivated and waiting for trainers to challenge him. Him and Glade were unbeatable, however, always sending trainers back to the Pokemon Center without their badge. Joe Mama sighed, wishing she were traveling to the Nova region again. Like an adventure, sleeping under the stars, finding new Pokemon, battling Team Plasma, all possible things. But Zier, being the protective older brother that he is, won't let her do those things, saying it's dangerous to fight Team Plasma, an evil organization that takes Pokemon away. The region has been pe peaceful, though, which made Zier worry in the first place. Toss me some water, sis, shouted Zier. Joe Mama rolled her eyes. <laughs> oh my god, let's say her name so much. Rolled her eyes and grabbed a water bottle from the cooler next to her and tossed it to him. She frowned, noticing some of the flowers had been ruined due to their rough training. Joe Mama glared at her brother. Jeez, I'm wondering why you guys are training here in the garden instead on the battlefield. You own a gym, remember? Zier gulped down his water and looked at her amused. But the garden gives me such a beautiful feeling. The trees, leaves falling in the air, the bright sun shining on me and Glade, the sweet smell of flowers blooming, and, well, he looked at Glade. We kind of ruined the battlefield a bit. She shook her head, not abuse, like her dumb brother. Well, it can't be helped. Anyway, have you encountered any challengers yet? Asked Joe Mama. Her brother shrugged in doubt, placing the water bottle on the floor. We hadn't had any trainers come over in a while, but I really want to have a Pokemon battle. Me and Glade have been training hard, too. Suddenly, Zier's eyes widened. He turned to his sister with a smile on his face. Hey, Joe Mama, how about <laughs> battling us? Turned to his sister and called her Joe Mama. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. This is, this is, all, all this is a Joe Mama joke, man. There's no escaping it. We should have, like, renamed Zier to, like, some other, like, Joe Mama thing. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're too stupid at this, Sucking, man. <laughs> Sucking these. Yeah. <laughs> or Sagan. Sagan. <laughs> Oh, like Ligma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Joe Mama, how about battling us? You can use training, too. Joe Mama stared in surprise at her brother. She turned to her Pokemon, Samurai and Lucario. Samurai was her first ever Pokemon given to her by her parents. They were very fond of each other, going through childhood to right now. Lucario, however, was her first caught Pokemon. He hardly listens to her commands when it comes to battling. He is very adamant, doing things in his own way. 
So Jomamo was very surprised when Lucario, who was taking a nap under a tree, woke up to Zero's request. Y you want to battle me? said Jomama, cautious. Zero nodded happily. Come on, sis, it'll be fun. Lucario could use some training, don't you think? Jomama thought for a bit and glanced at Lucario. He looked at her with pleading eyes, obvious that he wanted to battle. She smiled, which then led to a sigh. All right. Zero grinned. You can go first, said Zero, determined. Jomama nodded, but she was nervous. Let's hope that Lucario listens to me for once. <laughs> Lucario, use Dark Pulse. Lucario, I just thought, like, so what happens when they just don't listen to you during a fight? You just skip your turn, and you just get There's a funny the dialogue out. with it. <laughs> there, there actually Use is. Dark There's... Pulse, he skipped his turn. I'm trying to remember what exactly what they say, but, like, it's a thing where if you have, um... At least with traded Pokemon, if they're too higher level than the badges that you have, then they'll just, like, loaf around and not pay attention and just, like, look around and, like, ignore you, basically. <laughs> You are below me. Yeah, basically, it's just like pathetic. <laughs> you don't even have fortune badges. You're out of my <laughs> league. <laughs> you don't even make six figures, bro. I'm not listening to you. <laughs> Lucario jumped up in the air and shot Dark Aura towards Gallade. Surprised, Joe Mama smiled. The air grinned. Gallade, avoid it and use Brick Break. Gallade ran towards Lucario and was about to hit him with a karate chop. Watch out. Protect shouted Joe Mama. Lucario was barely able to protect himself before Gulaid was able to attack him. Zaire smiled, his eyes showing fury and determination. We're just getting warmed up. Use bulk up. Gulaid stood at his position and flexed, flexes his arms, his body being surrounded in crimson aura. Joe Mama clenched her teeth. Now is our chance. Shadow Claw, she commanded. Lucario's arm becomes surrounded by Black Aura, forming into a claw and slashes Glade three times before retreating. Jomama's eyes widen. How did he take those hits? Could it have been that boost? Now Glade bulldoze, yelled Sierra. Shocked that Glade even learned bulldoze, she panicked. What? Quick, Lucario, protect. But it was too late. Lucario was on the ground, covered in dirt, and severely bruised. He didn't expect that bulldoze too, but he got up and slowly and gave Joe Mama a thumbs up. He sighed relieved. Uh, Alright buddy, Shad, brick break, Zira yelled excitedly. Gulade karate chops Lucario in a blink of an eye right in the guts. Hey, that's not how Pokemon battles for us. You gotta take turns, right? Yeah, well I... Well, in the games, yes, but in the anime, they definitely just, like, do whatever the fuck they want. So, gentlemen's agreement. You gotta do one by one. <laughs> Gallade karate chops Lucario in the blink of an eye right in the guts. Lucario yelps before being thrown towards the sky and then coming down, smashing onto the ground. Zara walks towards him, ignoring his sister's terrified face. And the opponent's Pokemon cannot battle. We're traumatized now. What the fuck? <gasps> That's what we look like? Oh, I love her. I love this little... This one. I can't remember her, her actual name. Whitney? Rosa? Rosa. That Rosa sounds... Sounds Rosa? right. Yeah, the the protagonist that you play as... If you pick a girl, anyway. You, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You play as her in, in Pokemon Black and White, too. Yep, I literally just right. got done playing all those games. <laughs> uh, and you can't remember? Jane. Yeah. Well, to be fair, you don't really get to hear them say their own name. I mean, to be fair, the protagonists do have canon names. It's just you just usually put your own name when you're playing, you know? Are you the type that puts their own name for the games or just like some random name? I mean, when I do a Nuzlocke, it's very silly. It depends on which one we're doing. But because uh, for the Black 2 Nuzlocke that I just got done playing with Cameron, we uh, our name was Edward. Because we were supposed to be Whitebeard <laughs> from, uh. from One Piece. And then the other version, I was like, yep, put my name is Phoenix. All right, d all done. <laughs> uh. All right. What? Oh, yeah, credit to that person. Like, DeviantArt, man, that's pretty fucking cool. I can't wait to see how I'm traumatized right now. 
Jill Mama's face went white. She quickly ran towards Lucario and knelt down, glaring at her brother. Seriously? Instead of helping, you brag about your victory? She said angrily. Xavier rolled his eyes. Calm down, Joe Mama. What do you think Pokemon battling is? I know what Pokemon battling is, but Galay did it... But Galay did it way too brutal. Oh, where is this Pokeball? She rummaged through her bag and finally took out the Pokeball. She thanked Lucario before sending him back into into the, the contraption. She got up and shouted for Samurod, who came out of the house confused. She kept glaring at Xavier. That attack boost was too much for Lucario to handle. I'm going to Pokemon Center. Let's go, Samurott. She turned to walk away, leaving the garden. Gallade turned to his partner, feeling bad about the situation. Xavier sighed, scratching his head. It's not your fault, Gallade. She just worries too much. Just scared of losing another Pokemon. Damn, we had one that died already? Holy shit. We're like that, like the Hugh guy that got his purloin taken. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> Joe Mama ran to the Pokemon Center, worried and anxious. Along the way, she ignored the hellos and greetings. Xavier, being the new gym leader, she and she and him were publicly well known, which bothered her a bit since she had nothing to do with it, but only to be the little sister of the Pokemon gym leader. When she got to the Pokemon Center, she saw Nurse Joy and Chansey going over files on the counter. She noticed Joe Mama and greeted her with a smile. Why, hello, Joe Mama! What can I do for you? Nurse Joy says sweetly. Joe Mama quickly pulled out the Pokeball in shame. Please help Lucario. Me and my brother had a battle and it didn't end well. Nurse Joy nodded understandably and turned to Chansey. Chansey, get the room ready! While Lucario was being taken care of, they waited- Oh fuck, I scrolled too far. <laughs> they waited outside the Pokemon Center, sitting down on the dirt floor. Being in a Pokemon Center overwhelmed Joe Mama, so she decided to just wait outside of the building. Samurai waited with her, his head laying- on her lap. I knew I shouldn't have battled that idiot, she said tiredly. She gently petted and scratched Samurott's head, feeling his whiskers. The car deserves a better trainer, don't you think? He never listens to me. He looks up to strong trainers like Xavier. He. Samurott quickly nudged Joe Mama's arm, hoping to stop her from thinking such a thing. Her eyes widened and she giggled. Right, I need to calm down and just hope Lucario's okay. Yeah, North Shore comes out and she's like, Actually, he died! Oopsies! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It's your second one, right? Yeah. <laughs> First time? Oh, d never mind. We know it's not. <laughs> hey, sleepyhead. Wake up. Jomaba slowly opened her eyes, still in the daze. She noticed that she was facing a pair of blue legs. She rubbed her eyes and looked up. It was her friend Hugh. I gave him such a feminine ass voice. My bad, Hugh. Who was looking down at her <laughs> silently. Femboy Hugh. You <laughs> Joe Mama yawned, resting her head against Samara. Is Zucario fine? She said tiredly. Hugh rolled his eyes, grabbing her by the shoulders, lifting her up. Come on, wake up, Joe Mama. We need to talk. He sighs. She sighs, trying her best to pay attention. Yeah, what is it? She said, still tired. Hugh sighed. Suddenly, Nurse Joy appeared right behind him. Joe Mama, Lucario's doing just fine. He had, he can be sent back today with only a few bandages. She stopped talking, seemingly to be intrude, seemed to, seeming to be intruding. Hugh realized how the situation looked with him holding Joe Mama close to him and quickly pulled away. She stared at him confused, but turned to Joe. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Nurse Joy in relief. Thank you so much, Nurse Joy. I'll be there in a minute. Nurse Joy nods and, and heads back inside, thinking about something else. He scratched his face, obviously embarrassed. She gave him a concerned look. So, you want to talk? She asked. Hugh stared at her and sighed, shaking his head. Never mind that. Just stay alert, Joe Mama. I heard that Team Plasma Grunts have been spotted lurking around here. She smiles and nods, heading inside. Well, let's go and see how Lucario is doing. Oh my god, it's a ginger man. <laughs> it's a ginger. Is that the Team Plasma? Yeah, every yeah, every Team Plasma grant is ginger. It's it's confirmed. It's canon. It's Genji. Yeah. It's yeah. He it's just Genji in different costumes. Like he puts on like a short wig and then he puts like a long wig on to be like the female grunts. <laughs> you gotta like make him wear that in like an anime con or something. Mm. 
Hey, Cameron. He doesn't even have to tie his hair. He just has to wear that costume. Cameron, if we go to a convention, can you wear one of the Team Plasma Grant uniforms? Maybe. Oh, he said maybe. <laughs> so All right, that's yeah. All right, cool. Yep, yeah, it's, it's a yes. <laughs> All right, go ahead, man. Chapter three: Terrible Encounter. Damn, you really were strong. But me and my Pokemon will win next time and get that badge for sure. Another day, another loss for the challengers. Joe Mama stared annoyed as she saw Zier and the trainer shake hands. The trainer leaving without the victory. Zier patted Glade on the shoulder proudly and handed him a cookie, which Glade uh, gladly took. He turned to his sister, confused on her expressions. Why so gloomy? Aren't you happy for your big brother? He said with a smirk. She rolled her eyes, heading towards the garden. You always win, Zier. For once, I would like to see someone defeat you, wiping off your cocky attitude. He watched her leave the gym and sighed, not understanding. Joe Mama uh, silently watered the flowers, their petals full of color. Samrat was by her side, also watering the flowers by gently spraying water from his mouth. She watched him and giggled. I'm glad you're not using your strong hydro pump, or you would have wiped the entire garden. Samrat looked at her bashful. Suddenly, her stomach crumbled. Ah, uh, that's right. I didn't get to eat breakfast since I had to be, uh, be the battle judge for the gym. Joe Mama placed down the watering can, wiping off sweat off her forehead. She turned to her Pokemon. What do you say we get some takeout? I bet you and the others would like some Poke Puffs as well. Or Poke Puffs. I think they were thinking Gen 4 and whatnot, but... Do you have a cool? They a were tail thing. It's they're like little. They're supposed to increase like little things for like the contest, but they're little like little puff balls. They're supposed to be like little treats. Little small oh, little guys. Like uh, macaroons. Yeah, basically. Uh, as well, dude. I remember like I forgot it. It was like Pokemon. It was like an old gen thing. Maybe it was like silver Pokemon silver. Mm -hmm. Um, with the berries they like, mixed together. I think there was like some part of the game where so there was like someone hunting Pokemon or poke. <gasps> yeah, like uh, hunting the po the slow pokes and cutting off their tails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just eat, like, like eating them. Yeah, and eating them. <laughs> yeah, that was the first. I thought one. that's what they were talking about. Yeah, because don't you go down the well and there's a bunch of slow pokes that don't have their tails anymore because they're being yeah. Like, I was like, what the fuck. <laughs> What, what, I'm trying to think of something that relates. Like, like when you take those uh, like elephants and you cut off their trunks to get their little ivory things, like the the tusks. It's like oh, doing ivory, that to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Well, fucked up. Uh, it's tra human like <laughs> animal trafficking and <laughs> poaching. That's it was the way. After that, Nintendo was like, yeah, you know what? Maybe we should chill on the eating Pokemon. Let's take that out. Yeah, do I, I have expected? Because um. In, in the new game, Scarlet and Violet, Pokemon drop items and you can, like, craft them into things. I highly- I thought they were gonna do the, like, when you kill a Slowpoke, you got the tail of it, but they didn't do that. I don't remember what it drops, but it's not the tail. <laughs> <laughs> Samrat's eyes widened and nodded his head quickly. They walked around in... Lo... Lokesi? Lokesi? Town? Lokesi? Is that what she said? Lokesi? Lokesi Town? <laughs> Makusi? What is it? I'm just being- I don't know how to pronounce it, but the way- Fukusi is really fucking funny. Flokusi. 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 Flokusi Town, deciding which shop to head over to. They had already gotten the Poke Puffs for the Pokemon. Spicy Puffs for Lucario, Tire Puffs for Glade, and for Samurai. He didn't have a favorite, nor dislike any of any flavors. Joe Mama looked around carefully, her thoughts covered in food selections. White rice with orange chicken, some hamburgers, or maybe some grilled cheese sandwiches? She then bumped into Samrat, who suddenly stopped walking. He looked around in a concerned manner, making somewhat growling noises. She stared at him, confused, and looked around. They were right in front of the Flockacy Ranch, owned by people that she knew. What's wrong? Are you mad that we passed by Alder's home? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. 
we can vet fish sharp focus blast joe mama's eyes widened she looked away from samrock and noticed an unexpected yellow beam heading towards him quickly she dropped the pokey puffs and knelt down covering her head she closed her eyes waiting for the painful impact quickly samrock got right in front of her however taking most of the hit Joe Mama noticed and held on to him, stunned and worried. S Samara, why did you... Suddenly, she heard footsteps heading towards her. She looked up anxiously and saw a team plasma grunt along with their Bisharp looking down on her. The grunt crossed his arms. Great. We only attacked a Pokemon. Stupid trainer. He said, irritated. Joe Mama frowned angrily, but she was more concerned for her Pokemon who was struggling to get up. Don't you dare come any closer, she yelled. I know what you're going to do, and I won't allow it. The grunt rolled his eyes, stepping closer to them. What? Me stealing your Pokemon? I mean, it's quite obvious that I'm going to do that. That's my job. He walked closer and closer, ignoring Samrod's growls. The grunt smirked and grabbed Joe Mama's arm. I suggest you give it up, or deal with my, my Bisharp's blades. Joe Mama pulled away, at, shouting for help. The grunt let go of her and glared at her angrily. Fine, have it your way. Bisharp, use metal cool... Snarl! Exclamation point. Something invaded. Something's in the wind. <laughs> uh, wait, that's actually really good art. Hold on. This is beautiful. Oh, like the the Zoark and Lucario. Oh, image credit to ep wait epic rap battles of Pokemon. What the f wait wait verbal? This looks like a. I swear, this looked like some cover art for some rap album. <laughs> epic They're rap just... battles of history. Hydrogen <laughs> bomb versus coffee. <laughs> what? You never seen that? It's like hydrogen bomb versus coughing baby. Begin is a baby just going like, eh, 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 and then a bomb goes. No, I haven't seen that. I will send it to you after this. It's beautiful. It's my favorite meme. <laughs> All right, chapter four: sudden turn of events. Snarl. A purple ball of energy hurled towards the grunt and Bisharp. The grunt's face shocked and bewildered. The attack threw him into the bushes, and Bisharp took a step back, resisting the attack, but flinched. A bit overwhelmed, she looked around to the source of the attack. She started to see some someone running towards her with a Zoroark behind them. Now, flamethrower! Joe Mama heard the person's command. Immediately, the Zoroark released a seam of red-orange fire from its mouth at Bisharp, who tried to block it, but struggled as the flames were effectively painful. The Pokemon fell to the ground, fainting from the flames. Man, that's a that's a very good Eevee trained fucking Zorark to to do that, man. <laughs> <laughs> the Team Plasma Grunt slowly got up from the bushes and and froze when he saw his Pokemon on the ground. His face reddened with anger. You stupid piece of junk, he said, irritated. Then he turned to Joe Mama, who was still knelt down beside Samurai. He grabbed her arm and pulled her close, restraining her. He narrowed to the person with the Zorark. Well, if it isn't the, isn't the trainer- Oh, it's the traitor, sorry, and <laughs> Joe Mama, confused, looked towards the guy he was referring to. He was a tall, young-looking male. M male! Wearing a black and white cap with his long green hair. He wore all kinds of jewelry, a cube necklace being one of the weird ones. His expression, however, ir agitated her. Ed glared at the Team Plasma grunt, who smirked, enjoying the upper hand. Joe Mama clenched her teeth. Let me go, she yelled. Suddenly, she yelled, yelped, making Ed's eyes widen. This grunt's face reddened, this this time with embarrassment. Wait, wait a minute, where did... Huh? <laughs> What? Where, where did we get? T tell me on the doll where this poor man touched you. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to touch you there. Stop squirming, he says, blushing. His his sigh. He sighed and shook his head, turning his attention back to Ed. Anyway, Stephanie closer and I'll hurt her. 
and glared at the grunt, and then at Samurai, and then at Joe Mama. I just realized that this person has green hair. Yeah. I think I can see one reason why you like that now. <laughs> yeah. A very small detail. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, man. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if I tell Zorak to attack, who knows what will happen? The grunt grinned. That's right. Just let me go and we can forget. Suddenly, the grunt let out a groan and fell forwards. Joe Mama backed away from him quickly and bumping into something sharp. She turned around and saw Lucario, sitting there confidently, his arm in a punching position. He smiled at her, which made her eyes teary. Lucario, you... How did you... She said with a quiver in her voice. She hugged him tightly, but careful not to touch his spike on his chest. And rushed over to them, glancing at the grunt. He turned to Joe Mama. Are you alright? He asked gently. He pulled away from... She pulled away from Lucario and nodded, wiping her tears with her arms. I'm sorry, it's just Samurai. I'm worried. And nodded understandingly and turns to Samurai, who was still on the ground, breathing harshly. You have his Pokeball? Asked Anne. Joe Mama nods and pulls out his Pokeball. As they made their way to the Pokemon Center, Joe Mama sighed in amusement. I still can't believe we left that grunt to die. And laughed, shaking his head. We didn't let him die. We just left, to, left him to wake up later and notice he didn't get what he wanted and then turned to Lucario, who walked near Joe Mama in suspicion of him. I'm not a professor or anything, but I'm guessing you knew when your trainer, where your trainer was because you can sense her aura. Lucario looked at him and nodded. I get, yeah, lore! <laughs> lore. They stood in front of the entrance of the Pokemon Center. Joe Mama smiled at Anne. Thank you for helping us, Anne. She smiled back at her. He smiled back at her, glancing at Lucario. No need to thank me. I'm glad you're alright. It would have been a shame if that grunt hurt such a beautiful young lady. Joe Mama giggled, ignoring the compliment. She waved goodbye, heading inside the building, leaving Anne standing there alone. He smirked and turned around. You really care about your Pokemon, don't you? I like that. Wait a minute, if we beat up Team Plasma, like, years ago, if we were involved in that, then doesn't that mean that we know who Anne is? And, like, wouldn't we be like, well... I don't know, man. The lore is confusing so far. What, what does N mean to us? Is he a lover? Is he a fighter? Who is N? Why is N? How is N? Uh, I don't know, but I think he just called me a beautiful young lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I giggle. I giggle to myself, ignoring his compliment. <laughs> It's such a girl thing. Like, oh my god, he called me pretty. <laughs> 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 We're just built different. Uh, chapter five. Alder's concern. What is that? Hmm? It's like a. It's a, it's like a doll. He's adorable. That's pretty good art. Yeah. Oh, is this the same person on DeviantArt, or is he like using different images every time? I think or it's different, different artists. I think it's different artists every time. You check the previous chapter. The one that we're on is by the little thing. Oh yeah, he's using different people. Good on him. <laughs> I like people who credit their images. <laughs> Gotta you show the sword. Yeah. Uh, so how is the gym going? The gym, gym doing? Jo Mama, who was over at Alder's, placed down her cup of tea. She looked at Alder. It's doing well. Zier has been getting used to beating, being a gym leader, and he hasn't given out any badges yet. Remembering something, she giggled. Actually, a few days ago, we had a challenger who had an electrode use explosion. The battlefield was nothing except bulls and dust. Alder laughed, sipping his coffee. Well then, I bet that Electro must have had a blast. <laughs> <laughs> you laughed so hard it peaked the fucking mic. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what a joke. Uh, you know, what happens when a Pokemon actually use explosion? Like, don't they just incinerate? The, uh... Well, in the games, when they use explosion, it auto-kills them and does damage to the other target. 
It doesn't show their aftermath, though. No, you're so right. I think it just kills them, to be completely honest. <laughs> it's just, you, have, you just have six electrodes. You're just a terrorist, I guess. Oh my god! Oh, these aren't homemade. They were made in the factory. A bomb factory. <laughs> They're bombs. You don't even leave evidence. The Pokemon's not even there. That's so... <laughs> Holy. So easy to commit crimes in Pokemon. Joe Mama rolled her eyes, not amused with its puns. She turned towards Lucario and Alder's Volcarona. What's a Volcarona? Is that like the evolution of Electrode or something? Uh, Volcarona is the evolution of Larvesta. It's fire bug and it's really cool. It used oh to... no, I just looked it up. Volcarona is the evolution of Corona. It's a new variant. <laughs> Coronavirus? Yeah, this is the new variant, Volcarona. Dude, it's so cool when you look at his Pokemon entry. People were described it as like they that they thought it was like some kind of like sun god, and they would like praise it for for. Oh, I think I heard about that actually. Yeah. I like read it. It was like in game. Um, it was a cute scene, but she was too distracted with what happened with Team Plasma. Alder seems to have noticed, having a concerned look on his face. Are you all right, my dear? He asked. Joe Mama looked at him uneasy. Me and Samurott ran into Team Plasma and... Suddenly, Alder got up and slammed the coffee table. What? Did they attack you? I'll kick their ass. Alder, let me finish. You're throwing coffee everywhere. And please sit back down. Alder coughed, slowly sitting back down. Er, sorry, continue. Joe Mama sighed. As I was saying, we ran into Team Plasma or, or more, so it was only a member. But we were attacked by them. Fortunately, we were helped by someone with a Zoroark. The thing that bothers me, however, is that Samurai got hurt because of me. But she looked towards Lucario, a gentle smile appearing on her face. I learned a few things. Alder stared at her in interest, placing his mug down. Well... It's a good thing someone helped you and your Pokemon, he said, sincerely. But who was the person who helped you? You mentioned they had a Zoroark? Joe Mama nodded. Y yeah, his name was N. The grunt feared him and tried to use me against him too. And now that I remember, he called N a traitor? Alder then was suddenly very quiet. He looked away for a moment and then looked at Joe Mama. He had a serious expression which made her anxious but confused. Don't ever encounter or talk to him again, Alder said with a hard tone. Joe Mama's eyebrows lifted up, surprised. What are you talking about? She said, a bit annoyed. Oh, shoot, I scrolled down too much. Uh, oh, what, what's wrong with... Let me explain, Joe Mama. Alder interrupted roughly. She quickly shut her mouth. Two years ago, Itzis, the current leader, raised the guy you mentioned, N, to be the king of Team Plasma. The seven sages educated him with rules and orders before he turned his king. And after N becomes king, Team Plasma began their plans. They would take over a town or city and steal the Pokemon, separating them with their, from their trainers or what they would like to say, liberate. But after our champion exposed and defeated Getsus, and left Team Plasma. Even though it was shown that people needed Pokemon in their lives, he still believes that his motive should be out there. I believe that he's a little lost, but that still doesn't change the fact that he has some bad intentions. And the thing is, he has Zekrom with him. Oh, he has Zekrom, right. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I guess this is uh black too then? Because yeah, that seems about right. We're supposed to have yeah, that sounds black too. Uh but after or no, Joe Hemma looked down at the carpet flooring. Zekrom, the legendary Pokemon? But and helped me and Samurai. If it weren't for him, Samurai would have been taken away from me. Like before. Alder, however, shook his head, ignoring her. You don't understand, dear. I don't want you to get involved with him or with Team Plasma. 
I'm glad you and Samrod are alright, but please, don't ever encounter him. Womp womp, I'm gonna do that anyway. Bye, Alder. <laughs> <laughs> Why, because he has green hair? Yeah, he's got green hair and pronouns, I love him. <laughs> His green hair and pronouns? What do you mean pronoun? I don't know. It's uh, it was like a little thing of like you know like oh she has blue hair and pronouns he's he's got green hair and in, in pronouns I guess I don't know I was trying to be funny with it and I'm not that funny oh no sorry if it was like a it's like a beam or TikTok thing I'm out of the loop oh god okay yeah I'm like a yeah Minho was an, an uncultured swine actually sorry he looks sorry, like a rock here. like Patrick yep yeah he doesn't even know who Glorb is Glorb yeah who's that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do you actually not know who Glorb is? I know who Glorb is. How do you spell that? G O L O R. Yeah, I know who Glorb is. That's Are you not... looking it up actively, Ezra? <laughs> no, I'm not even doing that right now. In fact, I know who Glorb is. Now oh, tell me, who who is the Glorb? The one from SpongeBob, right? Oh my God. Anyway. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Picnic Panic. Alright. Joe Mama packed her bag for lunch, getting ready for a picnic with Bianca. Samurai, who was beside her, sniffed the tasty sandwiches, drooling, over, drooling all over the counter. She noticed and glared at him. Now, Samurai, don't you even think about it. Wait until we meet up with Bianca. She looked at her and looked back at the sandwiches, sighing. Suddenly, her brother burst into the kitchen. Grinning at Joe Mama. She glared at him, confused. New challenger, you know what to do. Maybe in the gym ASAP. He an announced. He grabbed the sandwich and strolled off towards the gym. Hey, that's for a picnic! Yelled Joe Mama. She groaned, feeling somewhat down. I told him that I'd be out with Bianca. Didn't he listen? Why can't he just hire someone to be the battle judge for his Pokemon battles? Uh, is this the Fukusi Town Gym? I came here to, you know, challenge it. Xavier smiled at the boy who seemed to be very bored. Yep, welcome. I'm Xavier, the the gym leader. Follow me. He and the challenger walked inside the gym as Joe Mama followed. St stumped about the picnic date. Okay, Joe Mama, she told herself. We quickly get this over with and we hop on our bike and speed off towards the ranch. It's not very far. She looked at Samra, who agreed also. Before going in the gym, however, a hand was placed on her shoulder. She turned quickly, seeing Charon, the normal type gym leader. Charon smiled. Sorry, S sorry to startle you, Jill Mama. Your gate was open. She crossed her arms. How do you give her that voice? <laughs> what, what, Charon? Yeah. I, I mean, that's the voice I gave him throughout my entire playthrough. It just seems right. <laughs> he's a nerd. He he's a definition book nerd. He's the he's like the mm, actually meme, you know. You're doing him dirty. All right, you know what I am. She crossed her arms. Don't stick up me like that. Charon rubbed his head, apologizing, and then heard Ag's Xavier yelling for her to hurry up. Jamal rolled her eyes, turning away from Charon. He had a challenger today, which means I have to judge. She grumbled as she was about to walk to the gym. Charon grabbed her wrist gently. Jill Mama, would you mind if I be the referee for you? I have a lot of free time. My gym hasn't gotten many challengers recently. But that's no surprise, really. Joe, Joe Mama couldn't believe it. She hugged him and went towards the garage to get on her bike with Sam Rat following. She looked back, seeing Charon blush embarrassingly. Shan, this is... This is she, uh, trying, she's... Everyone loves this bitch. Everyone loves Joe Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves their Joe Mama. Yeah, exactly. Hugh was f having a little blush fest. So is Sharon now. Man, we getting bitches left and right, dog. <laughs> as, she as she cycled towards the ranch, she was thinking about Alder's words about the end guy. I just don't get it, she explained to Samurai, who's jogging beside her. He held me and you with that grunt, and Alder tells me... That I should never encounter him again? She shook her head, confused by the whole situation. And I feel like I've heard that name before. You, he just told you his entire backstory. What do you mean you I feel like I've heard that thing before? What the f <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening. Yeah. Huh, sorry. I, I just heard he had green hair and I want to marry him. <laughs> That's you. 
Just in time, we have finally made it to Fukusi Ranch. Bianca and Joe Mama set out the table, food, and drinks while Samurai smelled the flowers. Bianca is Musharna observing him. They finally sat down and pulled out the food, Bianca noticing the Pokemon. She giggled. I don't know how the Samurai liked flowers. He's so gentle. Joe Mama nodded, snuffing her face with brownies. Yeah, he likes to tend to the garden at home. She explained. Hmm, these brownies are good. Hey, Samurai, ha come have one. However, there was no response from either of their Pokemon. Bianca and Joe Mama looked around confused. That's weird. They must have... They were just here near the forest. Mustered Bianca. Joe Mama got up and looked around more. Samurai, Musharna, she yelled. No noise except from the wilderness. She looked towards the clump of trees. They must have gone deeper into the forest. I'll look in the forest. They couldn't have gone too far, she said to Bianca. Bianca nodded and told Joe Mama to be careful and that she would watch the food. Samurai, Musharna, where are you guys? Joe Mama walked deeper into the forest, looking towards any clues. Gee, Samurai never wanders off like this. He's missing out on dessert. Suddenly, she came across something that made her eyes widen. She finally found the Pokemon, but the thing was, they were inside cages. Quickly, she ran towards them, concerned and worried. Samurai? Musharna? How did you guys get in there? Who did this? They looked at her scared, and suddenly, Samurai let out an intimidating growl. Joe Mama, confused, turned around and saw a Team Plasma grunt standing there with a Bishar. Meaning it was the same oh, guy who attacked her. <laughs> Roro Raggy! <C> cringe! <laughs> <laughs> she froze. The grunt smirked, recognizing her. Well, 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 if it isn't the moron who got lucky on me, we meet again. He walked towards her, their Bishar looking menacing. Joe Mama backed up, but only to bump into a Samurai's cage. Crap, 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 she muttered. Could she run? But what if, Bish what if Bishop reacts? The only thing that she could do was stand there in disbelief. This is just too good, shouted the grunt in am amusement. That there's no one, that there's nobody to help you. Don't you think it's perfect time to get revenge? He grinned evilly, looking at Bishop. Joma panicked, and without thinking she ran, she noticed, and he noticed and pointed at her. Bisharp, slash. The Bisharp ran towards her to get ready to, to strike. Quickly, holding her breath, she ducked between. Quick, she ducked quickly behind a tree, but it didn't stop the, the Pokemon who sliced the tree in half. Joe Mama sat there, scared to death. She, he laughed, wiping some tears from his corner of his eyes. <laughs> did you really? You just, did you see the look on your face? I'm so glad I stole this Pokemon, cried the grunt. He started to cough, which made everyone concerned. He pounded his chest and stood up, looking around. <coughs> let, let us start over. Bisharp, would you do the honor? Bisharp looks at him and quickly walks over to Jor Mama. He stares up at him with, with pleading eyes and then sighs sadly. Well, this is it. It was nice knowing you, N. I'm going to make sure I see Exer lose a battle. See Hugh never get married. Samurai with a huge... With a new caring trainer and Galade teaching Lucario new fighting moves. Oh, I'm sorry, Elder. You were right for not getting involved with Team Plasma, but at least I'll be with Mom and Dad, right? Damn, we're oh. orphan. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Mama closed her eyes, waiting for the painful impact, but she felt nothing. She opened her eyes and noticed that Bisharp was just standing in front of her, staring at her. Uh, I don't know, fucking blue, blue eyes. The grunt uh, frowned angrily, a bit confused. Why aren't you attacking her? Attack! But Bisharp ignored her, still staring. He was in fumes. He pointed at the Pokemon aggressively. I stole you for a reason. Attack her! This time, Bisharp turned towards him and glared sinisterly at him. He backed up slowly, glaring at Joe Mama. You little- Fine, I don't need you! Backing up, he ran from them, leaving behind Bisharp's Pokeball. The grunt disappeared in the forest. Bisharp walked towards his Pokeball and picked it up. Joe Mama stared at the Pokemon with uns in an unsure way. Bisharp towards her, facing her. Finally, her eyes widened. Are you perhaps the bitch- The Ponard from six years ago? <gasps> Damn. Alright. This is a good place to end this one. <laughs> that- Crazy. More. Crazy. I was crazy once. 
I only, I thought she, her, the other Pokemon was dead. I didn't think it got stolen. That's crazy, dog. I really yeah. thought he died. It's a small world. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Unova is, is probably the smallest one in the map. Is it? I think so. I want to actually pull up like what what Pokemon region is technically the smallest. Why do I? F I'm trying to like remember how to pronounce it. It's the uh, it's the Pokemon X and Y one. I think that one's the smallest. But I might be capping right now. I think I actually might be capping. I don't fucking know. <laughs> How did how did you feel about that? That was uh, uh it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. It reminds me of the one from Colrez, you know. No, it wasn't that chaotic. Yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> there's was... more chapters. We don't know how chaotic this goes, or if it's even more crazy. Yeah, but there's no one ordering pizza during an alien invasion, so. That too. I gu I guess we don't have that. Anyway, I ordered some pizza. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, pizza time. Yeah, I, yeah, pizza time. Yeah, I heard that we're about to get murdered, so I ordered some pizza for the occasion. <laughs> nice. That's good. It's always the perfect time. Yeah. You know what it always is the perfect time for? What? Spinning the wheel to see what we've had to read next time. Aw. What do you mean, aw? You don't like spinning the wheel? You know, there's some choices on there where I regret putting on, but hey. we'll see. Hey, at least you don't have to have the chance of reading a book called Soul to a Gang Leader, alright? You're, you're lucky. Soul to a Gang Leader? Yeah. That kind's kind of cool. It was the first Wattpad book I've ever read. Sounds cool. Yeah. I'll show it to you, and if 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 you're down for it, I'll add it to our wheel at some point. Well, the way you make it sound doesn't sound good. No, it's it's basically like the stereotypical like my my mom sold me to One Direction, except we got sold to like a mafia boss. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's just different. All right, anyway, wheel time, wheel time. <laughs> wheelie, 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 like you. Alright, I'm really hoping for the Harvey X Reader. I really want to read that more, you know? It's Harvey. How can you say yeah. no to my boy yeah, Harvey? Yeah, I feel you. Scooby-Doo is a good read, I feel you on that. Uh, <laughs> Kung Fu Panda was pretty good. Oh my god, not the Kung Fu Panda one, I swear to god. And here we go. It's rigged. <gasps> yes! There is a god! We'll see what I have up my sleeve. I need and the fucking green hair protagonist of it. Just out of curiosity, are you aware of the SNG4 universe at all? <laughs> like, at all? <laughs> uh, was it the, the YouTuber you were talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, no. Fuck, I can't have you read something if you're gonna be completely lost during it. Damn it. You gotta have a fanfic of a YouTuber? It's it's not a YouTuber per se. It's like characters in. It's like a. How do I describe this? It's a channel that has like these like made up people like characters that go on like adventures basically. This guy should make his own cartoon. They have their own animation studio. They're the ones that made Digital Circus and like uh, and Murder Drones. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> They should make their animation. Yeah, they did. <laughs> I see. Mm -hmm. I will send it to you later, but it's fine. It's fine. I, I will. P I will find something in the two weeks that you're gone. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be All right. fine. Sounds good. Yep. All right. Well, do you have any final thoughts on this? Any any last words on your feelings today, or, or from these this past hour? Um. Oh, I was actually surprised by the grammar in this uh, story. It was, like, accurate. Pretty yeah. accurate. There was yeah. only, like, one or two mistakes the whole time. I was like, I didn't have to change my wording at all. I was pretty impressed. Good yeah, grammar. see? See, Wattpad has good things all the time. On Just like that Hero Brian X Reader and that Peppa Pig X Dora thing. 
There's good things everywhere. You just gotta look hard for it. Peppa <laughs> <laughs> Pig Dora. <laughs> who, who came up with that? Whose idea was that? that was yours! Crazy. It was yours! That was crazy. You were like, I had the best book, and you showed that to me, and I wanted to uh, die. <laughs> I don't remember. That was, must have been someone else. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Well, anyway, thank thank you for joining, Minho. I highly appreciate it, man. You're, you're a good sport with these. Of course. Yeah. On screen somewhere is a playlist full of other Wapebo cover readings. Some of them include Minho. Most of them do not, because Minho is not everyone. Unless he is. He's just like, every, he's everyone in different accents and, <laughs> and voices. I'm just a talented voice actor. I can just be anyone. Yeah. I wish I can be like that. I can just be British. That's, that's all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> and then on screen is also the last book club reading that I did at some point. I don't know. I don't remember what's gonna be. Probably that one I read with Heisen. Probably. <laughs> unfortunately, it, it was, it's probably gonna be that one on, this, on the fucking screen. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Where, where's my SpongeBob X Squidward fan fiction when you need it? You know. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Minho, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.